Hey family, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. It's your favorite Sagittarius, the Jersey Girl for Life. What we doing today? Guess what we doing today, y'all? I have brought out another little dirty vintage bag. And when I tell you that bad boy is dirty, but I'm still going to do it for y'all because I could get it cleaned up later. And what y'all going to do about it? Nothing. <laughs> talk about me. Just don't talk about me in the comments. Talk about me and get off and tell your boyfriend, I don't believe she had that little dirty bag up there. <laughs> Dressing it up. You know how people take, uh, be putting on perfume and ain't taking no shower? Girl. Anyway. This is the bag. I don't want to make this too long. Look, your girl is sipping on her some Dunkin' Donuts coffee in my favorite pink cup. That is my absolute favorite color. I love this cup, this color, like if I'm in the trucking world, like I'm trucking on my 18-wheeler. I haven't been able to do that because of Joshua. If you don't know, go through my channel and you'll know. Uh, but I love that ballerina pink for everything else. So anyhow, I'm going to do a little sippy sip. Mm-hmm. I'm so mad. I spilled over half of it on a product that I was supposed to show you guys before this video. That's a wrap. <laughs> so, and guess what I am pairing that with tonight? You should try this. This is a long time favorite. So many of you probably have already tried it, but it's Milano, the uh, caramel macchiato cookies. This thing is dark chocolate. Oh my God, yeah. Pair it with coffee. And it's good with wine. Oh, my goodness. Listen, they come with trays. Me and Joshua then already knocked the tray down. I think each tray have, like, I ain't going to tell y'all how many in there. Anyway, I got one left. <laughs> but the other two trays are in there. All right, let's jump into the bag. Okay, a little history on this bag. When I got this bag, I was doing management as, a, I was a little young manager, you know. A little secretary i mean like for the secretaries you get what i'm saying and um i remember coach dropped this bag and you know i make a little bit of money a little money nothing like now but you know a little money i'm a little hot little young thing you know what i'm saying if you could imagine that you know and anyhow so not too far out of high school and co coach drops this bag and you know what this bag showed me the truth about one of my friends, my friend spoke on this bag and said, we went to the coach store. I think we were at, I don't know when the mall, gallery or mall or something like that. So go in there. We see it. We like, Oh my God, the late, we're like, how much is it? We both at the counter now. So we're finding out at the same time. But even if we want a bag is a bag is a bag. We all on here have the same bag. So girl, it's whoever got the money gets the bag, honey. Okay. So she's like, oh, I'm going to get that. I'm going to get that. So meanwhile, your sister over here got the coins for it, though. It drops. The lady said $500. So, of course, I go get the beauty because at this time, this is hot. This is all. This one, they just really was in there. All leather bag. No canvas was even heard of. And um, it's nice and big. This was like my, this was the version of a tote back then, okay? So this is 20 years old. Well, might be a little bit over 20 years old. So the bag is $500 back then, right? All leather, good quality. I would say I may have had a little bit of stretch from carrying over the years, but pretty much the drop, this was meant to be. It's not like it started off down here and then stretched to here. Pretty much was the same thing. But girl, I come to work with this bag and this girl has a straight attitude. How did you, what made you go get that bag? And I said I was going to get it. I said, well, did they not have it when you went there? I mean, I didn't get paid yet. No, uh, it sounds personal. When you get paid, go get it. Uh, up to now, I'm pretty sure it doesn't have it. But anyhow, I was just like, where they do that at? And now y'all know why I am a loner. And I prefer men over women for girls. All right, so let's get into the back. <laughs> I never tell y'all story times, but that is why I do not do women too much because I have yet to find a woman, many women that is real as me, confident in themselves, their life, their situation, and who they are as a person, and not because of the things they have, and they're not bothered by people who currently have more than them or appears to have more than them. They are fine with who they are. You start dealing with women, you start dealing with jealousy, you start dealing with competition. All of a sudden, you become competition. 
And then if they're intimidated by you, they're going to put a lot of distance. They're not going to want to hang with you. They cool with trust and believe your girl been around long enough. I'm telling you, stick to your bag and your shoes, God and your mother. Girl, you can't go wrong if you only deal with a brother. All right, bars, bars. <laughs> so anyway, I had to tell that because I couldn't even believe a bag revealed my friend. I was like, you're not even my friend. Oh my God. And it's more to that story. It came up again. When a job opportunity came up, I was just, yeah, let's have story time. We go to a little jobby job. We got an interview, right? We, we, we excited. This company is popping. They paying, now they're going to be paying more money than where we are, right? So they, we happened to land the interview same day. So we drove there together. I drove, she's passenger. Get there. I go, she went in first. So I'm sitting in the lobby. She comes back out and I'm like, you know, you giving your, cause you're supposed to be girls, right? So, you know, you know, what's up with the eye thing? Like, like, got it. No, I'm gonna like do something. You know what I'm saying? She was like, under bra. Yeah. They said they, um, they'll get back to me. I'm like, oh, okay. They're not making decisions today. Now your girl go in. I come out. I'm dumb happy. I'm like, oh my God, I got hired. Like, I'm trying to be so calm. We get to the car. I was like, oh my God. I was like, I got hired. I got hired. I got hired. So I was like, oh, I'm supposed to start next week or whatever. She was like, oh, that's nice. Meanwhile, one of our friends call on and 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 it's on like we're in the car. So like I got it on speakerphone. And she's like, how did it go? What's up? How, how did the job go? Whatever. I was like, oh my God. I was like, I got hired. She was like, what about such and such? She, and I said, well, they said they're going to call her. So she made a joke. Like, you know how somebody make a joke like, oh, you must have sucked or something. Girl, that set it off. She was like, F you. Blah, 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 blah. So the, I mean, attitude all the way home. Mad because I presented myself to a company but you had the opportunity to present first. You came out with the, we'll give you a call. I came out hired, went home, told Hubs that. But you're mad at me. I'm like, make it make sense. I didn't interfere with their decision. So now I'm like, now you have a problem with me. And then I realized, I said, oh, this is one of those, like, we cool as long as you think we here. Don't you dare go here. Or don't you dare have the same exact thing. Um, don't you dare have too much happiness going. It's, I don't even want to go into it because I don't speak about negativity. And it's so far ago. But when I tell you that set the tone for me and women, and it hasn't been much difference yet. I still... The only time I feel like I run into people is like, sometimes they just don't even live near me. You know what I'm saying? We just phone friends or whatever. But it's like, when you be, I'm going to leave that alone, y'all. Y'all are females. Y'all know what I'm talking about. I don't even have to explain. I'm pretty sure somebody, one of y'all out there saying, girls say less. Y'all all got your own story. Because if you're a female, you done dealt with some insecure. I don't care. The girl could be. You could be a size 18 and considered fat. She could be a six and considered the bomb.com. And girl, she will still be jealous of you. Find something to be jealous of you about. Because of course, that's not where your confidence comes from. That is internal. It's not about uh, just the fact of you fit a particular description that you think the majority want. Because that's the thing that get to people that have a problem uh, with confidence. As soon as majority does not favor them and they might like the minority. Ooh. We're going to get into this bag. But, um, and shout out to the people that I do get along with <laughs> and that we are friends to each other. But y'all feel me. Y'all know, I guarantee you, this could be a whole video within itself. I am not alone. My mom said to me, and I'm going to get into this video one day. I was telling her about, you know, oh, I'll get along with this person so well, such, 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 such. And she said, I always hate when you start out liking someone a lot or you feel as though they are you know like on your same vibe she said because it always turns out that you find out they're not who they are you don't end up being friends with the person and i'm like i am to this day waiting for her to be wrong that's now that's crazy so listen to your mother okay
And they, they don't even be meeting the people. You could just talk about them and say certain things. And it is amazing. That mother's way kick in like. So that's why my mother and my daughter are my best friends. And I don't care. Is that that's what it is. I don't mind the associates. But and I, I would love to have that like. And I have a best friend from high school, but she's not around. So what I'm saying is, if y'all, Joshua, you're going to get it. If you really do have that, girl, hold on to it because it don't exist. My very best friends are males, and I don't deal with jealousy. They don't care if my stomach get flat, my booty get big. I get a, a pair of Air Max before they girl do or they do and all that. It's none of I don't deal with any of the jealousy, the got to hide, um, hold back my successes and hide how well I'm doing or if I'm down or if um things are not going well, get you a male friend. I used to say back in the day, because one of my really good friends, and God bless him, he passed on, but he was gay when it was not popular or accepted to be gay. And one of the most beautiful people in the world, he literally was gorgeous. And then next, um, his heart was like, you would only wish to find that kind of girlfriend. You know what I'm saying? That you could really talk to. And I feel like when you cannot be yourself with a person or you have to hide certain things, that's not really your friend. Because when you got a best, 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 best friend, girl, you, it's just like, I'm just leave that alone. You don't know. Look at this bag, y'all. Vintage bag. I don't know why God moved on. Maybe somebody need to hear that. But, um, so look at the tag. Let's get into, of course, it's older. So, listen, my tag. So, I this is one I think I'm going to send back to Coach and let them repurpose it for me. Or, I don't know what they could do with her because I don't know at this point. But, look at the tag. So, however they do it, it must was sealed or however they still leather together so normally you wouldn't see that but it has split over time because like i said it's a little over 20 years old the brass chain is actually still brass the leather itself is just good um i will admit i had so many bags i really would just i didn't really clean my bags i just moved on so it's a very huge pocket right here uh oh, I'm getting upset because I see there is a glue stuck in here from nails. And I'm going to have to leave it there or I may rip my leather. But look at that. Let's see. Can you see in there? So this is a huge pocket. Look at that. Okay. And that's the bottom. And it sits nice and flat when it's full. So what I decided to do today, I'm going to see if I could jazz this bag up. As you see, this bag does not have any side-to-side -side hooks. So anything that I do is going to have to be able to fit right here. And it may be very minor. Uh, what I want to use is um, my Coach Signature the Tan pieces, okay? So these pieces is what I want to pair it with. Because I don't really want to buy the um, a bag with this 100%. I do like the, um, and it's in my cart, but I haven't pulled the plug on it yet. I do like the, um, ooh, the bucket, the town, is it the town bucket bag or whatever? The town bag, the biggest one they make, and then with the little split in the middle. And then, but I want the, I want it with like this color trimmed in black. So I do like that. It's in my Thing. And if it goes away, I'm not sweating it because, like I said, I really don't want a whole bag of that. So I'm going to use these accessories to pair with this, and then we're going to see what's going on. So because I'm not really going to carry it, I don't have to really open that up. So I'm going to get this open, get everything open um, that's not open, and then I'll get this all together and packed up with you guys. So, and I don't want you guys to wait since I just forced a story time on y'all i'm sorry y'all i th maybe it was somebody need somebody else need to hear that okay i don't know i don't know that this bag is going to be able to be jazzed up at all with the way that it's made you get what i'm saying look how fat these are none of the circles i have are really i'm gonna make it work so this is how i would pack her this was my really like more like first tote, guys. My mo like a very expensive bag, you know. So 
might have even been 550. Here is my makeup. Okay, I guess they call that that or the boxy. I don't even know. It's trimmed in white. Do we need some more light, yeah? Let's see. I don't know. How's that look? Is that bothersome? I don't know. Is it too bright? Okay, this is called. I'm gonna find out what this is called because I call everything a makeup bag. So it does have a pouch in there, but you know they had a little tab in there. So this is. Just the khaki chalk, but you're not telling me, like, actually what you are. What Girl, what are you? I don't know. I'm going to call it a cosmetic bag, okay? But you know it has that long uh, slip pocket towards the back here, right there. And I'm not going to unpack it because I'm only doing this for video purposes. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start putting stuff in. Then I will put my pencil case in. That I might stand up. Let me see. No, because I don't have a lot of pieces, I'm going to go ahead and sit it. I'm going to sit it flat because... So for this, I also am going to choose to pair with... Um, this is really the front where the pocket is, okay? So what do you guys think about that? I know the light can be blinding. So that and then this will be my catch-all for this bag. You guys have seen this one before. So this is my catch-all. This is where I be throwing all my little junk. So I would literally put ooh, put my coach keys in here. This is a nice contrast. If I could have gotten it to hang right here, that would have been cute. But I have to look for something to make that happen. I'm gonna put that in there. Then I would put this is very old as well. This is one of my this is my first business card um, little holder. When I got my real estate license. Wow, 20 years ago. I've been a realtor a long time. Wow, okay. So I would put that in here and just say that's my catch all. Okay, we'll even put a little perfume in here, which is heavenly. And my rollerball is in here somewhere. I would not, this is what I would take on a trip, like with hubs. I would normally put a rollerball in here, but it's mixed in somewhere. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw that in there. And this is just for video purposes, so we will, this is how I like to leave my bags. You see how that slides down? That's exactly what the charm going to do. It has a magnetic closure, and I'm going to go ahead and put this in there. I think I'm going to stand this up. Nope. I'm going to sit that down, and this is better off, seems like, to be in the corner to give me my structure and stuff like that. So it is standing. This I was going to let hang on the outside, but I'm not sure. Cause that it's like old school meet new school. That's what I'm doing here. No, no, okay. So anyway, I could have done this as well. Not don't like this. Now when it gets too, too light for some reason, I'm gonna toss this back. I'm not feeling that. But this will be my items that I choose. So let's go ahead and see if we could jazz her up. I have her full. Let me go ahead and put that in there. And lay my little pencil case in there. Oh, you know what I could have put in there too? My, why don't I just grab it? I'm going to go grab my Coach Tan Notebook. Be right. Go get you something to drink. Get you some coffee. Get you two cook two cookies. No more than two cookies. And meet me right back here. Right. Y'all look at the cookie monster. It's cookie monster. It's wet. Say hi. Show them. Show them what you eating. <laughs> Dad, Josh, you done coughed all your little stuff up. <coughs> Cough cover. It went down the wrong pipe. Don't talk while you're eating. <coughs> Get it out. <coughs> okay. You need to go drink your milk. Go go get your milk. That's it. Mm. Ah, I did, Mommy. See you later. <laughs> All right, y'all. That's my little heart. He just wants to be where I am every second of the day. All right, so I got the book, y'all. I'm going, oh, my little tassel came out. Mm -mm. 
didn't realize I just did that. I had this on there, but I'll take that off anyway because it don't match. No. Can you let mommy finish the video? Oh, you can't get your milk out? Okay, hold on. Huh? Purple? Purple. Yeah, purple. There you go. Enjoy. You're welcome, baby. You're welcome. Here, take it back. Mom. Is it too heavy? You can leave it. I'll take it. Okay, you go bye bye. <laughs> now, how you gonna carry your milk? Mm. <sighs> You're so independent, Joshua. <laughs> Be careful. <laughs> he managed the bag, the cookie, and the bottle. He did not want help. And because he, uh, he, he was, I guess I was indicating he couldn't do it. He showed me he could. Here is the uh, my coach notebook. You know I have a video on that. So I will put this in here. So I could just write about life experiences when I'm sitting and just chilling, right? And then I'm going to, so that's what she's looking like. That's a good, that's a good pack. That's not overdoing anything. And then I will go ahead. You hear that? Snap. Okay. So snap would be on. So this is what she's looking like when you carry her. Okay. And then here's her tag. Okay. You eating all the cookies, not saving any for mommy. And then this part, I would either. Well, I just throw this in there because this actually doesn't even have anything too attached to it. So this I would just put right in the front. And then, of course, I'll put my cell phone right in the front. And I'd be good to go. If this wasn't broken and jacked up, you could have threw something like that off to the side. But it's giving struggle. This is... And we're going to lay him the rest. Look at this. I tried to fix it. Yeah. Yeah. Here, Joshua, you can play with that. <laughs> it's a wrap. So here are some of the chains that I would have considered. See how that color blends in? I would just have to figure out how to connect and to connect. And because this is so short, so I may not absolutely do that one. Here's something. This tortoise may be pretty on here. But like I said, I have to combat the issue of getting it over there so let me get my rings together my connectors okay thank you and i'll be back okay this is what i was able to do with her i did it off camera because this was very difficult if you look i had to use a large ring this one that you see here and open it up over here on the skinniest part slide it down to here and it is still when i tell you it's pushing it but this is so light so it'll stay stable and it won't put any more but can you see how it's you know maybe a little squeeze to it i have to start it all the way up here where it's slimmer just to make this work this is like a situation where i just went and take it off and then i connected it over here to the hang tag right there and that was the best thing to do. And actually, because I don't want this showing, I'm going to connect it be on the other side of the actual tag. Ooh, I haven't ran into too many um, challenges. What would y'all have done? Help me out, Miss Percival. She's another one that be jazzing them bags up. Help me out, girl. What would you have done? <laughs> I didn't have much options around here. Let me tell you. Let me see. Yeah, that's all I could do with that. Honestly, um, and see, putting it there is probably making it, let's see, I don't want to have nothing struggling, but I think I'd rather just leave this over here off to the side, the actual tag, and I probably could take that tag off and just, but I want to leave it as a, but I'm glad it hangs low enough not to affect my pocket, so that's actually good. But I think that's not bad. That's, you know, modern meets vintage. That is really not bad. And then if you're carrying this, you, look, you flip it over. It's still showing. It's super cute. Now that you have this on, you could throw something else cute on here as well. You know, nothing this big. But um, 
Let me see. Because remember, this is like barely on here, so. Mm. Position is so important. So you want to go more like, I'll probably put it down there to help weigh that down. So you can do something like that. That's not bad at all. This would have really been hot if this was dark brown. But I like it because it, you know, it jazzes it up. <clears throat> it needs it. Because truthfully, this this bag needs some Ajax. <laughs> okay? <laughs> but some people love that old, that wear. They want you to know how long they've had a bag. They love it. I've seen women that can more, they can afford like Chanel bags and they wear these vintage bags because they just love what it offers, you know, just the quality of it. So there you go. Modern inside, vintage outside. There's my little, I'm gonna put that right there. Um, what the outcome? Oh, I forgot my little whatchamacallit is in there. I forgot, I also have a Nolita in here. And then we're gonna snap her back close. And the magnet is still really good. Once you line it up, yep. Everything else is good. Nothing is coming apart. The worst part is the tag, honestly. And I'm sure they will probably just give me another one. Um, but I may walk into the, the boutique just to see what they say. Uh, what would they do with something like this? Because this is some really good leather, okay? Yeah, it's a nice carry. It's like a medium-sized tote. I wish they would have just put some feet right there. That would have helped, you know, really save the uh, bottom. I have held you all long enough. Let me know what you think about Modern Meat Vintage and the pieces that I chose to put inside as well as the chain. Would you have done something different? It's not a whole lot I could do. And I really don't think that... I don't know that gold would have set it off and because you can't go too glam when it's a vintage piece to me you know like try to imagine it without that i don't know i i actually love the tortoise chain honestly i do yep so i have some other longer ones but i don't i'm, I'm not gonna do that anyway what do you think about this thanks for hanging out with me dressing up my vintage bag I will choose another. I have vintage uh, Dooney and Burke as well. So I may do that for you all. But of course, guys, be better to yourself tomorrow than you were today. And it's never goodbye. Y'all know I'll see y'all later.